Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. Clearly we are not in the game room. We have found ourselves at the barbershop, Franklin Barbershop, and we are here with the owner, Hogan. What the hell did you drag us here to play today? Toy Story 2! All right, it's on the PlayStation 1, and I have a feeling we are in for a real treat. What are we gonna be drinking? They're today? drinking Red Rambler by Peace Tree Brewery. It's out of Iowa. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and stay tuned to the first episode of Deep Cuts at the Barbershop. All right, here we go. Hogan, welcome to the channel. Yo. You, no offense here, but might be the most knowledgeable person of random shit that I have ever <laughs> met in my life. So we're really excited to have you on board. It's fairly so, accurate. So the game we're playing today, why, Hogan? Why Toy Story 2? I think this game is fantastic. Uh, I like it because it's probably something that will be completely forgotten about. So uh, <laughs> it's also extremely challenging. The first level is Andy's house. Literally, like, you, we have to escape this. Well, and also... Is it is it really Andy's house? Does he own it? Uh, I think his. The better question is, what happened to Andy's dad? That's never addressed in any of the movies. Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't think he has a dad. I think no, he. But where did he go? That's my question. It test here's a test tube, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> I uh, I think his mom. I can kind of tell by the way she acts in the films that infidelity. Yeah. Oh, that, so you're that, saying that the dad, sure. the milkman? I don't know. I don't know that it was him. Maybe it was her. Yeah. It's hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I mean, she could just be a strong, independent woman, and Andy's dad was just not a very nice guy. Andy probably like, likes his toys so much because his dad just used to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's, why, that's why he plays make-believe so much. Yeah, that's why his toys <laughs> came to life. He has to establish relationships with you know, inanimate objects. <laughs> oh, shoot. I really... Uh, expected given the type of things that Hogan's into that this game was going to be absolutely horrid <laughs> but it's like so uniquely not like I don't know there's something about it that I like and the fact that you are playing this so well right now yeah dude he's just flying through it how many hours in your life honest do you think you've put into this game hundreds <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable the thing was, whenever whenever my band would record uh, an album, we would always take this because you know there's always somebody that's like has downtime, like oh yeah, there's always yeah. downtime when you're yeah, in the studio. I don't oh somebody's and not you, recording bass tracks, so then you would have this, and I just started getting. And you guys didn't want to take like anything modern or anything; you just wanted to take Toy Story <laughs> 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. This is one part when I first showed this to you. Right here, that's so frustrating for me. Oh yeah. For years, what I had been trying to do was jump on this nail. <laughs> <laughs> and get up on the jump shelf. on this nail and then get up on that and shelf. And you can do it. You can do it, because that's the only way I've been doing it for years. Until you were like, why don't you go around why don't you um, climb to the that, box in that box? And I was like, <laughs> oh, I suppose I could do that. <laughs> so what exactly are you trying to do right now? Are you trying to find, find stuff? Okay, so you have... In every level, you have five different things that you need to get. You need to get 50 coins. You need to find a part of Mr. Potato Head. And then there's, uh, you know, there will be like a certain character that you have to find things for. So in this one, you have to find five of Bo Peep's sheep. Oh, great. Uh, you have to get a Pizza Planet token, and then you have to fight a boss. Yeah, I just can't imagine like a five-year-old kid like thinking this was a, like, doable. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's, right. it's not doable. That's a, it's, I, if, if anybody receives this game for Christmas, they are probably sorely disappointed. Yeah. I'd rather have coal. Okay, here's another really good question. Is Sid in this game? He's not. Dang oh. it. But, uh, fun little factoid, a lot of people don't notice. If you watch, Sid is in Toy Story 3. At the end, when they're in the, uh, they're in the junkyard, and Lotso gets strapped to the front of the, the garbage truck. Yeah. Uh, it's actually Sid that does that. Wow. Oh. But do you ever see him? Like even yeah. a little bit? Okay. Yeah, and so he's, he's still okay. wearing the, the, the same shirt. shirt. He's still wearing the shirt too, but it's all faded. <laughs> is he like older? And yeah. Like he's like a funny Does it fit him right or is he a little thick? It, like, I think he got, I have a feeling Sid got fat. I, I, I can't remember if he's portly or not. <laughs> I, I have a feeling he has a beer belly. 
They need to do a spin-off series just on him. That would be crazy. Yeah, and it was like, still it was still Toy Story. Yeah, but, but it was Toy Story his, like Attitude Era. Style. It was his. Like Sid spends a night in jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody ever finished this game. Have you have you beat it? I beat it several times. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I probably You're the only one. probably every other year or so I'll pop it in and I'll play it till the end. <laughs> this is, oh my lord, that is so. Funny. Does it get dramatically harder? Yeah. And the hard thing about this game, I think, is like you're you have no like depth, depth perception. Yes. So you really don't know how far away things are. <laughs> like there's a section in the game later where you're in this thing called alleys and gullies, and you're you have to do all of these different like jumping from one telephone line to another. Oh my god. And they're so thin and you're in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Just to shed a little light on the type of shit that goes on at this place, how many copies do you have of Forrest Gump here? Uh, on VHS? At this point, over a hundred and eight. Yeah, they have a gump dump. Yeah. A shovel. Oh. That she used to bury Andy's dad. <laughs> yeah. She murdered him. He's he's definitely out in the out in the sandbox. <laughs> I'd like to go a step further and say that Andy and Sid may be closely related. That's what I was just oh, thinking. Yeah. I was thinking the same yeah. thing. That's and, so. and Sid knows and that's why he resents. And, that, and that's why he's so, so much. Yeah. yeah. Andy's dad was planting seeds all over town. Yeah, just setting up franchises. <laughs> <laughs> franchises. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, oh my yes. god. Are you kidding me? See? Frustrating. I'm not even playing and I'm pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and like the way that he lands on this car is like it's not it, even supposed it, to work. No. Like, it's just not. Ah, oh, man. Like you wouldn't even think that it was something that could work maybe. Yeah. You know? So why even bother trying? You guys in the comment section below, let us know what you guys think happened to Andy's dad. We're <laughs> yeah, dying we to know. We want to know. We want some fan fictions, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I am literally blown away at how good you are. Yes, yeah, so am I. <laughs> it's incredible. That makes me really excited to see you guys play it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> this is your first boss? Yep. Oh, my God. He's, He's so fast. Yeah, he is. What do you have to do? You have to run in circles. Until he falls. And then he gets tired. <laughs> nice. A robot gets Whoa, tired. Most robots. And then you have to run. Well, obviously he's not using Energizer batteries. He's a big smoker. He gets really <laughs> He chain smokes cigarettes. He's almost dead. He is dead. Bam! It's a planet. Alright, yeah. well that's it. Exit level. Who's next? Level one. Alright. The mower's just on oh, the dude, loose. That's the mower from Honey, I Shrink the Kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's just on the loose. That's I told you. Everything in like, Andy's house is like... Dude, oh, dude, Rick Moranis is... <laughs> yeah, Rick Moranis. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't, so no. you don't get ran over, you just get hit by it? Yeah, that'd be sweet if it, like, shot him all over the yard. just shredded him. <laughs> yeah, this, fall. This, is, this looks yeah. like a train wreck. Yes, it don't is. Fall. Can I walk up that log? You, yeah, you can. Just do it carefully. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> And that was just the beginning of the tree. Oh, oh man. Once you get about halfway up the tree, there's a rope that you can let down to the bottom. Fucking piss. So I want to go this way. Yeah, and you won't slide off 100% until you <laughs> Until you walk off. <laughs> Reset, start over. I seriously want to kill myself right now. <laughs> yeah, okay, Romeo and Juliet. This is, I'm telling you, this is why it takes uh, about 15 years of playing this game <laughs> to perfect it. <laughs> it's painful for you to play. It's painful for me to watch you play. Yeah. It was actually really enjoyable to watch the first level because you made, yeah, it, you made it look easy and we got a full sense of confidence. <laughs> I haven't even played it yet. <laughs> oh my god. I this I'm not gonna make it. It's your turn. You're gonna give it to me? Yeah, I I I think I suck at this. I don't even know the controls. There is no possible way somebody out under the age of ten can get through this tree. No. And if they did, I would really not feel good about it. And that. that's one of the reasons like when I initially bought this game, I was like, oh this will be fun. You know, it's for kids, I'll just play it real quick. And no. it took me the very first time I I play this. I bet it took me a year to beat the game. A year? <laughs> yeah. How often were you playing it? I was playing pretty frequently. I mean, at, at least at least three times a week for, you know, hour, hour and a half. What is, I mean, why is the gak falling? I don't know. Is this like a, uh, a something that is produced by the tree? It's like a, I don't know. What, sap? A sap. It's a sap. sap. It's sap, but it's sponsored by Nickelodeon. <laughs> Nickelodeon sap. You've heard of Nickelodeon gak. 
well knew from Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon sap. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, yeah, it is a slow burn there. What? What? <laughs> and then the car's there. What? Oh my god! In unison. <laughs> what? I commend you for being able to get through this game. I'm determined. Was there any points where you considered quitting? Mm -mm. It was a passion project. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hard part. Why? Because you got to fight the boss now. I so have to fight the have boss. To run in circles. Is it a kite? Yeah, you have to run in circles and not fall off. The Zer kite. <laughs> is he gonna get tired and shoot him like the last boss? Yeah. You made the you last have, boss look so. You easy. have a very limited amount of room. Oh my god, because it's a freaking it's tail. tail. Yeah. I didn't know where the tree was. Oh <laughs> god damn it! Oh wow. I think you're just you're not you're. Am I jumping too soon? You're too late? early. Because you're not quite getting to it. So I gotta jump late. Jump at the peak of the board. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, like the last possible second. Yeah. Well, that's what I was doing initially, and you said I was jumping past it. Well, I think he maybe didn't use his words. Yeah, the, my nomenclature was off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your nomenclature? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Vocab. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this was a good place to use that. Yeah, it was, but it confused me. Okay. No! He just ran. He just keeps going. He just keeps going. He's he, running the over theater. the fence. He's in. Right. He's running the muck. He's oh, running the muck. Man. <laughs> okay. I'm getting to a point now where my blood is at a hot temperature. <laughs> He's not. Okay. Done. I'm done. I can't. Fuck. Oh. I, got I can't. You. My hands are clammy. Watch him freaking. Yeah, he's shot. going to. Yeah. He's got the spiral technique going on. He's yeah. climbing with the grain of the rope. It's like giving him a little <laughs> extra speed. Little speed, dude. Well, in his past life, he was a firefighter, so he knows how to go up and down poles. <laughs> I don't know if that's what he was doing. <laughs> oh my God! One more hit. Oh. He's blinking. He's flashing. Yeah, he is. He's pissed too. Oh! He's again, oh. dude. Oh. 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 He didn't fall oh, okay. the way. Uh, 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 but it, he's gonna start further than the rope would take him. So he's gotta do two of these freaking like wooden jumps. Oh ahead. my god. Oh. oh, that was smart. That was smart. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you did that, but Dude, he was smart. He, oh man, he took the aggressive approach. Hung in there. I was gonna. I thought maybe I could knock him out real quick. <laughs> but no. I don't get how you you were you were nailing him. He's freaking pissed off. He's, he's yes, one hit away, boom, and he's all we got right. was a damn pizza plant. That's all right, right. we'll take it. There's something about getting that pizza plant <laughs> token that feels it's, good. It's satisfactory. All right, I don't really even know what just happened. We just played Toy Story 2 yeah, like on the that. PS1, asses kicked. Well, except for yours. This game is maddening. It's but it's like weird because I want to kind of keep playing. Yeah, so do I. The completionist in me wants to sit down and beat this game and be one of ten people that's ever beat it. So, how did we do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said that's not good. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's frustrating. You gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk. You know? It's it's a war of attrition. Yeah, no doubt. So thanks so much for bringing this game to our attention. It's definitely we're gonna have to jump back in on it for sure at some point. Let's talk about the beer. What did you guys think? You actually have a partnership here at the barbershop with Peace Free Brewery, right? Which yep. is so sweet. So uh, just kind of start with Robert. We'll work our way across. What do you think of the Red Rambler? Well, I'm actually really impressed. I'm not a huge fan of Reds, and this is actually a really easy drinker. It's really smooth. It's going down easy. I, I'm enjoying it. Absolutely. I don't drink a lot of reds either, but I don't know. I could probably drink several of these in one night. <laughs> yeah. I think it's really, it's a really good, like, American-style beer. Um, I don't think they are aiming to reinvent the wheel with this, because I've had some of their other beers that are way more crafty and unique. Um, this is more of just an easy drinker, and I also think if... For those of you that maybe aren't craft beer fans, if you are like in, enjoying your High Life, Paps, Budweiser, whatever it is, this would be a really good, I think, stepping stone Ooh, for you yes. into the craft world. Yeah, because introductory. Yeah, it's got a little hoppiness and, and, and maltiness in that, but it's, it's really kind of, uh, 
low on the aggressiveness, I guess, in that, that realm. So very easy drinker. I think this would be like literally perfect in uh, any situation. I don't know how this beer could offend anyone. It's very well balanced, very well played. It is a safe play. Again, they're not reinventing the wheel here, but it is a, a good traditional red lager in my opinion. You know we always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time on Gaming Off The Grid. All right, um, let me think here. Let me get my, my, my game face on. <laughs> get your character. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How they hold up? Are they worth a shit? And we're hoping. Uh, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Short and sweet. Yeah. What are we drinking today? They're drinking Red Rambler by Peace Tree Brewing. It's out of Des Moines, Iowa. Oh no, no, they're not. They're out of Knoxville, Iowa. <laughs> they're out of Iowa. <laughs> are they really? Yeah. yeah, they are. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, yeah. that does taste like Knoxville. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs>